Okay, so today we're going to be taking a closer look at this 32-piece hex bit socket set here. You can see it comes in a nice hard carrying case that has the handle as well, which is always a plus to keep everything all organized together. When you go through and open this thing up, um, I really like the actual design of the box, like I said. And then the fact that uh, they have this little diagram right here that shows you exactly the sizes on what you get as well is super handy to have. You can see you have basically any size socket that you're going to need. Um, you have your, you know, your two millimeter, two and a half millimeter, all the way up to a 19 millimeter here. And then you even have some of the half sizes like three fourths inch as well. Um, so anything that you are needing your socket wrenches for, basically uh, any kind of size, whether you're working on cars or any kind of bolts, um, this will get the job done for you. Um, and then the fact that, and then it's nice once it's all, when you're all done, you can put it back exactly where it needs to go, put it in the case and then shut it. Um, I also like this as a case, some hard cases, when you open them up, all the pieces go everywhere. This one, that's not the case. You can see <laughs> it keeps everything clean. You can go through, shake things up, and then open it up once again, and nothing is like gone through and rattled around. And what's great about this set, as you can see, it's very easy to go through and find out which size you need to go through and uh, work on furniture or cars or any kind of automotive here. You can see I have a loose screw on this chair right here. Um, so all I'm doing is taking one of these bits right here and sticking them onto um, the socket wrench here. And then we're gonna go through and quickly tighten this thing. Okay, and you can see that gets it in nice and tight. Uh, works extremely well, definitely a set that I would recommend. Perfect for uh, pretty much any kind of project that you're gonna be working on that's gonna require a hex bit.